What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the house. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good. You all, oh, what do you got today? <laughs> oh my god, why do you even have one of those? I don't uh, even know. It's not mine. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, become a superstar. It is the best thing ever. You can go to the movie theater. You can tell them you're a superstar. They're going to give you a promo code. You enter it into Vivi, and you're going to get stars sent to your Vivi account. I'm telling you, it works. Go ask them for the promo codes when you go to the movies, and uh, just tell them you became a superstar. Hit that subscribe button. It's definitely necessary for you to do that. Um, so I guess we're just going to get right into it. Actually, today was supposed to be the giveaway for Pyrology, but That's right. I don't think you have the wheel ready. I don't have the wheel ready. So no. We're going to be doing it tomorrow. You have one more day to enter <laughs> into the Pyrology giveaway. Yeah. How do you do it? You tweet out Pyrology World Community website. You tag three friends who are not already members on the Pyrology website. And then you have to put on our Superstar Money Club under topics. There's giveaway number four. It's for Chippendale Ultra Rare. So fantastic giveaway prize. But go into that topic and enter your Twitter name so we can find it. And make sure you have the hashtag Pyrology4 in your tweet so we can find you too. The reason we're extending it a day is because the entries, literally, there's not too many entries. So guys, really, really good opportunity to get a chip and deal ultra rare. Helps you complete that duo set. I think it's going to uh, be good. It's going to be good. I, I, I'm really disappointed we couldn't do it right now, but it's okay on the next one. Okay, I mean, Rob's on the road and, uh, and we have to figure one. it out. So we'll <laughs> figure it out uh, tomorrow. So hopefully you guys aren't too upset about it, but tomorrow we'll do the, 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 the wheel and aim when we're more <laughs> prepared. Um, also, so let us go. Let us go through some of the news on Twitter because there's a lot of stuff happening today. We had a pretty big drop, pretty big deal. Huge, um, huge job. This this Doctor Strange job. We were hyping it up yesterday. Um, did you go for a run? So I really like this. Like I really want this collectible. Um, and then, you know, we got comments. I, I heard a lot of people on Twitter, and it just seemed that there was like a pure consensus from our social network of just like superstars commenting that people did not want to go for this drop yeah. mostly because it's it was pretty expensive price in the environment that we're in right now like we're in an environment where, where the prices and you know you, the drops happen they sell out and they go well under listed so i stayed out of it because i suspected that this was going to go under listed oh and, and it definitely did but mm -hmm. i'm a little bit bummed out though because there was a low mint secret rare for 125 it would have been a good buy that would have been i held buy. off but that's how it goes sometimes so someone else i don't remember exactly who it was if it was you i'm sorry i don't remember your name but someone left a pretty good comment and i noticed that there isn't just the infinity stone by itself and someone actually came up with some good speculation maybe if you own all three of these then you get access to the infinity stone by itself and then eventually you can like plop it into the gauntlet that might be another airdrop if you have all six or five five or six five of them right uh no six and by the way, just the there's just the right guy to shout out for that. It's superstar, no credits left. Oh, there you go. Superstar, no credits left yeah. with the uh with a great idea. So um, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh we'll see. I know that Mar I know that there's also been comments that say Marvel hasn't given us anything, Marvel's not gonna do airdrops, blah blah blah. It's just independent artists. I don't know. This one well, seems different. I, I feel like it's different. And by the way, the uncommon, even though the eye is closed when they finally got in the showroom and you know how you can zoom in and like kind of like go into the collectibles, the stone is there. You can that, see it when you zoom in, you can, you can see it if you zoom in. So the stone is there. Maybe there's going to be a way to open the eye eventually. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you're going to have, you're going to, if you get something else, you'll be able to open the eye of the uncommon. It'd be pretty there's cool also a lot of speculation that you're able to wear the necklace um, or, or be able to put it maybe on as an accessory onto a Dr. Strange collectible. If that does come out. So a lot of cool things with that one. Uh, what's your buy price? When would you buy this? So, unfortunately, like, I haven't bought a lot of things in a while. If you remember, I stayed out of the villain's drop. I stayed out of this drop. And part of me believes from the, a lot of the videos we made, I mean, we made two videos. One was that your VV collectibles are going to zero. The other one was your VV collectibles are still going to zero. We just know that right now the gems in app are not growing. Like, yeah. it, we just don't have that hype. We don't know when the hype is coming. I'm a gambling man, and I'm willing to to wait it out a little bit more for May to see what other drops are going to come out that might draw out more gems. And uh, 
I mean, with that being said, I I think the window of opportunity, the point of this video is going to talk about this. I think the window of opportunity is closing of this accumulation phase because changes, I think, are coming to VV. But I think there's still a little bit of time right now. So I'm going to wait. Let May the 4th pass. And, uh, you know, again, like at the end of the day, yeah, they're going, some of these drops, like today's drop, the, the Uncommon is going for 15 bucks, way underlisted. But ultimately, the people who are buying, like they're the ones, if you're planning to buy and hold and you're in this environment right now where things are dropping like crazy and you have a one in 10 chance, like you you basically get what you're asking for in a sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a 10% chance on this one that you're going to hit the secret rare. So like even just going for the drop in the first place was a little bit of a, a really big gamble, actually, like probably one of the biggest gambles on the app so far. I mean, I like to go for comics just because they're cheap. You have a chance at a secret rare. If you get a secret rare, you're like more than 10 xing your money. So it's worth the gamble to me. Uh, this here we knew probably wasn't going to go for more than 300 gems, the secret rare. 350 maybe people were predicting. Uh, so that's only like a 5x. Uh, is that worth it when you have a 10% chance? That's why I stayed out of it today. I didn't go for it either. Um, and I don't know if I want it just yet. I think uh, like, you, like you mentioned, we know that the market is in a downward trend. Uh, and this one here, I don't really care about getting a low mint um, as much as I would with a collectible. So yeah. I think that's one one of the reasons why I can wait on this and uh, let it sit there and let the store or let other you guys hold it for me. Yeah, but we're, and I'll we're buy still... it from you later. I'll buy the lowest mint just to get the collection if that's what's required to to unlock some stuff. We're still we're still seven days away from the the yeah. point that this movie coming out. They can come out with more Doctor Strange stuff between now and then. That's more attractive. I yeah. still really want this because it's an Infinity Stone, but they might come out with a cape. Who knows what else they're gonna come out with? Yeah, exactly. there might be a want. There might be a Wanda one coming. Who knows? That'd be cool. That'd so, be cool. so I'm gonna hold off for now. Let's see how it goes. All right. So we also got some more news. I'm skipping over this because we're gonna talk about it. But back to that, um, yeah. we got this comic coming. So it's a Captain America annual with Wolverine and Captain America on the cover. Um, the other thing we find out is that this is a super limited edition drop. 10, so 000. it's looking like 10k, right? Yeah, 10,000. Um, so yeah, 10k. These are the covers up close. Um, that common is still my favorite. And uh, 10k, 6,000 common, 2250 uncommon, 1,000 rare, 500 ultra rare, and 250 secret rare. So yeah, um, it, I don't know what it's ranked if it's even ranked, but it's Captain America annual number eight. Um, do we know how much these super limited ones go? after the drop like if this was a standard thirty thousand one, we know the common because I, I think those those comments are gonna go under one dollar eventually yeah you know what we have we haven't really had like a b tier comic here in a while um so i haven't really been keeping a pulse on the comic market um be curious to know i guess the one yesterday was a b tier that was uh, b. or two yeah yes and the rare, the rare is like 12 bucks so the rare is like 12 bucks. there that, that might be your skill but $6 i don't know if this is even a b the cover is really cool though i think this is like a, a nice cover yeah, very uh, nice. All right. So the other thing we got dropping tomorrow or no, Saturday is reverse perspective. So it's like it looks 2D, but it's actually 3D. Why don't you guys let us know that in the comments as well? Yeah, uh, I can't and, remember uh, who said that. But this yeah. is actually a great video. If you go to the Medium article, they put a video with the artist, uh, Patrick Hughes. And I'm not, it doesn't have any sound here right now, but um, you'll be able to see. Like, look, it looks 2D, but... And they said he's actually, like 82 years old, this guy. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is a perfect example of what we're going to get here. See how it's like a 3D block? Yeah. So that's probably what we're going to end up getting. Some kind of 3D block that looks like like it has depth inside it. Yeah. Um, and these are the two that we're getting. So kind of like a beach, beachy vibes with minutes? some apples and some like sour strips. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the – they're both ultra rare, I guess. And 200 gems, guys. 200 wow. gems, 1590 edition. So I like I like the limited edition just because it's like almost like real art where you get those limited runs and only so many people own them. Yeah. Um, they're both the same, 1590 and 200 editions. And this one is uh, Venice, Contemplating Venice. Yeah. And the other one is called uh, Create Expectations. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I will not be going for this drop at that price point. And like uh, I know there's some people out there who love the art. I'm not willing to wait how long can I take for the true value of these to come out? Like yeah. when the VV verse is around and we're going to do a video on this and you could actually start like building your own showroom with like, you could pick the flooring or whatever. 
maybe yeah. when the hype of the showroom decorations really begin, these things are going to be worth a lot more. I'm just right now, I'm not willing to spend those 200 gems and have it sit there and wait. Or that when long. you get IMX integration, um, anytime I interoperability, uh, these things I can see doing well, especially with the limited run. Uh, imagine you put something with like 1500 editions and only 400 people move it over uh, on IMX. That might be a, a, a great thing for the project. Um, I think I will go for one of these, not on the drop, but like in a few weeks time, if uh, I'm expecting them to, to drop in value for sure. I can even see them going below a hundred um, yeah. or getting close to around the hundred gem mark uh, in a couple weeks here. So it's, it's if, a little, uh, we would have to look at comparables. What's I've been looking at, I've this? been looking to add art to my collection. I have zero art and uh, I just, I like, I, I think if May has as many catalysts as they're, they're making it out to see, it might not hashtag soon, hashtag when. But if June the 4th, like we mentioned on a previous video, is as big a day as it is, and it is the official VV launch, and they are preparing and gearing up for that date, I want to kind of have my eggs in a little bit of more than just one basket, um, just in case, and then uh, see how it goes. Yeah, I, I think that when it comes to the art pump, I still think we're way out. I mean, I would love to ask them in, a, in an AMA, when exactly is the first... I mean, in a way, we have it like sure the showrooms of VVverse, but I want to know when the actual VVverse, which is going to be an area with a coordinate system, like imagine like a gaming map, like Fortnite or whatever. It's a it's a coordinate system X Y Z. That's a verse that where things are stationary. I feel like when that happens, art's going to pump, and I don't think that where June fourth is, is going to be. I don't think we're getting that type of VVverse this year. My this is speculation. I think that we're going to get um, AR capabilities that are interoperable. So like I'll be able to see here how you place things. So if I come see you, you're gonna place down your collectible, and I can see it through my phone. Just that's because, cool. but we might have to be friends on the app or something. That might be a requirement in order for that, that to happen. That'd be great though. That'd be sick. Uh, but I think it's sure. cool because then people can like team up and make little scenes or whatever and uh, play yeah. around that way. Even if they're not gonna be like fighting like Mortal Kombat or something like that, but at least right. like, you take a picture. Uh, I think it'd be cool. I think that, yeah, I think so. that's the first iteration we're gonna get. Uh, but maybe you're right. Maybe we, maybe we get something a little bit more detailed. That would be really cool. Yeah, that'd be cool for sure. Uh, I love your idea, by the way, about sharing it on the same phone. You can see the same AR. Yeah. I love that idea. So the other thing that I skipped over for you guys, because I wanted to talk about it right at the end here, is this huge announcement. This today kind of took the show. I mean, we had a big drop. We had a Doctor Strange drop. Uh, not too many people went for it. But <laughs> also, like this came up bef right before the drop, and it was... I saw actually the first place I saw it was VV Vault posted a video um, announcing it or talking about it. And uh, I guess he's seen this tweet or somebody showed him it. Uh, but it was AMC that tweeted it. And they said, be the first to witness Jurassic World Dominion on June 9th at AMC Theaters. Get your tickets now and get an exclusive collectible NFT. But nowhere in this does it say VV, um, which kind of got me. It's like, why not just give credit that it's a, it's a VV drop, but VV retweeting it obviously makes it legitimized. Uh, and if you do go to the actual website here, it brings you to like a screen where you can buy tickets. Uh, from what I understand, and we're Canadian, so we can't even do this because we don't have AMC. We used to close down. We used to, but we don't have it anymore. But from what I understand is you have to have an AMC Stubbs membership um, in order to get the right email. So a lot of people have been buying and refunding and losing a transaction fee. So don't do that. Make sure you're a stub membership and make sure you buy it through the AMC website or the AMC app. Uh, I'm not sure if this link bring, I guess this link would work. It will bring you to their website, but then what you get is an email. And at the end of the email, you're going to have this little thing here that says your AMC exclusive Jurassic park world dominion collectible NFT hatches soon. Congratulations because you purchased the world dominion double feature ticket. You'll be one of the first to see that for conclusion on June 9th. You're also eligible to receive an AMC exclusive Jurassic World Dominion collectible. So we don't know if it's going to be a poster. A lot of speculation that it was a poster, but I don't know. It'd be cool. NFT it'd be cool. The NFT, app. So th what, there it says the VV app right in the email. There it is. And it'd be cool if they give you like the physical collectible mint number that matches the airdrop. <laughs> that would be cool. So it says your unique code and NFT redemption instructions will be delivered via email on this on the 16th of June. So I think just putting in your email and buying the tickets, I don't even think you have to go there and scan nothing. Um, so if you have somehow, somehow somebody, so that's what I did here. Shout out superstar Laura M purchased me the ticket. 
sent me the email and uh, used my email, whatever it is. And hopefully on June 16th, I get an email. If not, uh, I don't know, but she, she might try and scan my code for me. Who knows? Uh, but that's uh, that's how I think it's going to work. It's pretty cool. And the be- the big thing here is that we are seeing utility. And um, Reverend Alex G tweeted about it too. And he said uh, M space A space Y started yeah. early, right? Um, yeah. yeah, this is what I think that this is a really, really big deal uh, yeah. for VV. Um, like we talked about how they want to bring more utility and obviously there's the utility of the physical world, the, the utility of access, which they talked about in their, their latest April AMA. And this is the kind of utility that gets me really, really excited. I just told you in our previous review of our drops here, right? How I didn't want to go for the time stone because we're in an environment right now with not enough gems in app. There's not enough new gems being bought. We're not getting that inflation. So I'm staying out because right now the hype's not there and that window is starting to close. Things like this is what's going to pump it because what's going to happen now is you're going to have not the nerds like us, okay, us nerd superstars, our superstar nerds who are into this stuff that go and seek it and find it. And then you got the hardcore comic book guys. Now what you're going to get is the average Joe who's not a superstar yet who's going to go and see this movie because he's a Jurassic Park fan yep. and say, yo, what's this NFT? I thought NFTs are scams. I don't want anything to do with NFTs, but let me try. This must be legit, Vivi. Yeah. This must be legit. They're doing it officially. So what you're, saying, so what you're saying is Vivi started marketing. Vivi started marketing. This is their first, I think, real big marketing deal. And this is what's going to bring new people and new gems into yeah. the environment, which is going to, the more gems that come in, that outpace the burn, it's yeah. inevitable that we're going to see vv inflation so what we know is that they got marvel to to write an article and talk about the drop today now we're seeing this jurassic park thing coming up marketing through amc through amc's twitter we know this is a meme stock as well so there's a lot of eyes on this twitter all the time Um, not only that if you go through the comments on this tweet you will see so many people from the vv community just saying like look check it out this is uh this is what else you can do on vv so basically people advertising through amc's t- twitter yeah. <laughs> great partnership mickey mouse walt disney have first ever batman and it's just somebody showing their showroom so anybody who's on the amc can look and say oh wow what is this and look here's another guy one of our friends dk we got some other cool stuff also and he just posts a bunch of different uh collectibles so a lot of people showing off what vv is about um on the amc trying to get more people in so this is our part doing our part to advertise so if you guys want go and uh leave a comment on here as well just to help uh, get the word out there but this is huge and this is big news just because not not because of the drop not because of the collective we don't even know what that is it's about the fact that vv has decided to commit to some kind of advertising and the fact that they're doing that means and we know from the last ama or the one before this one that just passed um when it was just uh recent alex we know that they didn't want to advertise until things were ready and uh this this movie just so happens to come out on june 9th which is after june 4th go check out our video that we just made and speculating hard about june 4th our I june think- 4th video alex responded to it and he didn't say it was wrong he just said that the collectible the vv collectible is not going for 100 bucks like we speculated so hard we like we said that they were gonna have MCP, NTL, like they're gonna have all this stuff, like they're gonna have everything like ready to go for June 4th. It's gonna be the biggest day in their history. And now this comes out exactly. you what you said is logic. They yeah. said that they don't want to advertise because they're not ready. And now all of a sudden, to me, this is marketing one on one right now. Yep. So and, I, and- I'm ex- I, it makes me think that this May window might be the chance to get in and i'm very curious to see what happens after june we could be completely wrong and you know the bear market continues but we know that pump's coming eventually we can only speculate we don't know when it might go late you know hashtag soon it might be delayed but we'll see and advertising by itself will not do it It, it's it'll it'll help it'll bring it up it'll bring the market up for sure you'll have advertising bringing more money onto the app um it and you'll have uh, more people coming and more people checking it out but what will happen is the same thing. And maybe the floors might be a little higher than they are now, but it'll pump, it'll inflate, inflate, inflate until a certain point until the money is in there. And then it'll just start to trickle back down, trickle back down, unless we get 
MTL because that means that people are going to be selling gems legit uh, in order to get maximum profits. And then you're going to, not everybody will do that, but a lot of people will. And then uh, the other one that we need is MCP. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of these things are going to be coming out that will help to prevent uh, off app gem purchases and sales. And that is the only way that they will be able to kind of mitigate the downward effect. I mean, I'm sure it will still happen, but the, if it happens to a lesser extent where not everybody's doing it like they are now kind of thing, um, that's when you'll start to see the inflation. And, and on top of that, you're going to have more people coming to the app. But if you want it to last, they need to have those things implemented. And I think that's one of the reasons why they mentioned not going to advertise until they do have those in place. Yeah, and up until today, I had really no reason to believe that the market, the bear market was going to continue with the marketing it could help create that catalytic, catalytic event. It may not be like t right, you know, on June 9th, but it yeah. may be the beginning of that and starting to slowly gain some more momentum. So definitely I want to hear if anyone's watching right now, let us know below what your thoughts are. I want to know if you're staying out of this, if you're still going for drops and are you thinking like, like us, like right now I'm not buying, but I'm thinking that the window of opportunity is closing in the month of May. Do you agree with this? Or do you think that it's going to probably be prolonged longer and that's just, you know, pure, you know, hope, hope, hopium, we'll call it. Opium. So why don't you take it from here, Joe? Yeah, so I think, uh, I think you're right. I think that uh, the window is definitely closing and the, once marketing gets full force, you have MCP, you have MTL, you have all these things to keep gems on the app. The web, web platform, that's going to yeah. help eliminate the app, wow. uh, app store fees, right? Uh, once those things are out, your opportunity to buy is going to be like, probably out the window because you're going to have all this inflation that uh, we've been speaking about when, when you get more people onto the app. And it looks like they're gearing up for that for June 4th, uh, that, that so. launch party. Uh, that's what they called it. Right. So um, guys, if you want to follow us on the VV app, go check out Fastos uh, 6909, 9.9 .9 million. If we see it, we're going to follow you back. If you have friends on the app, you're going to be getting some MCP points. We know that for sure. So that's one of the easiest ways. And we just talked about it. What if they make it where you can start to look at each other's, collectibles in AR if you're friends. So start adding friends, grow on your account because I think it will be very helpful for you uh, once everything is unro unrolled and you guys are still here. You're still early. Check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on TikTok. I'm not going to talk about it. You guys know what to do. Send us pictures, videos. We'll post them for you. And Rob, this is your part. Join the fam. Smash that subscribe button. We love to hear from you guys. I told you what I want to hear. Let us know below. Uh, what you guys think about this video. Let us know all your thoughts, whether you agree with us or not. We want to hear from you. Let's have a conversation. Let's learn. You just saw us in the video. Shout out comments that we get. We learn from it, and we hope that together we all learn from that. So let us know what you guys think below. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.